Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This video is your Wix SEO starter pack. I'm gonna give you the top three things you need to know about SEO on your new Wix website, and then we're gonna dive into the details. So let's start with those top three SEO tips, the must-haves for any SEO strategy and implementation. The first thing is you need to understand that SEO is not a box to check. It's not one and done. SEO is a skyscraper that you are never finished building. And of course, any good skyscraper needs to start with the foundation. All right, so number two, the foundation for solid SEO is a strategy. You've got to understand what your business is, what the competitors are doing. You've got to do your keyword research, your competitor research. You've got to do something called a gap analysis. And then you've got to understand how to write solid SEO optimized content. It can be daunting. Yes, BizLadder is here to help with that, but that's not what this video is about. Um, those are all components of your SEO strategy that can be achieved. See the thing, number three, top three things to know. Number three is that there is nothing in the world of fundamental SEO that's technically complicated. Um, you can rank well and have terrific traffic without doing anything complex. So you may not know what those are, keywords research, competitor research, gap analysis, writing optimized content, but those are things you can definitely learn. Uh, they are not going to require an understanding of code or uh, the back end of websites or uh, any of the other complicated acronyms and, and mysteries of SEO. You, if you nail those four things and you apply your strategy, chances are you're eventually going to rank well for your website. Now, if you're entering a super competitive space, things might be a little different, but the vast majority of businesses these days, especially local businesses, uh, can rank and get traffic. Also, I'm gonna just mention maybe 3B here. We're talking about on-site SEO. We're not gonna talk about link building yet. We're not gonna talk about Google business profile, which is important. This is on-page SEO. So those are your top three things, all right? SEO is not one and done. Start with a strategy and don't be afraid, there is nothing te technically complicated about fundamental SEO. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the, the page itself. I'm using a, a new website, a live website that's that's brand new. It still needs some content, but it is live on, on the web right now. And the, what you wanna know about a new website is that you have what's called a honeymoon period with Google, where your site is new, Google's checking it out, it's crawling it, it's looking at your content pages, and you could immediately see some solid visibility, some ranking, some impressions, probably some clicks and traffic to your website while Google begins to understand what you're all about if you have good fundamentals, okay? If you've missed that honeymoon period, and there are plenty of other videos that will talk about how long that is, a month, three months, whatever that time frame is, if you've missed that, if you're six months into the game, it's okay, you still wanna have good fundamental structures and, and settings in your website. So let's go ahead and start. As site SEO settings. I'm in my dashboard, obviously. Uh, you would think this is in setting, it's not. It's in marketing and SEO, SEO tools. All right, most importantly, can Google see your website? SEO settings. Let search engines index your site. This is site-wide. Is Google going to be allowed to crawl your site? Yes or no? Obviously, you want that to be yes. Now, if you haven't done all these fundamentals, you might want that to be no and just don't let Google see it until you're ready for them to see it. All right, then you can see you have eight different categories that you can go into here. We're not gonna go into all of them, but I'll just look at main pages. Most of these are relatively advanced settings and Wix has pre-populated those with uh, their recommendations for what these tags and everything are. Uh, just stick with their recommendations unless you have a very specific reason or have a deep understanding of what you're changing and why, okay? You've got some social shares, You've got something called structured data markup. This is advanced, robots meta tag, um, again, a little more advanced, and then additional meta tags, canonicals, uh, structured data, again, a little bit down there. All things that are set for you, don't worry about them. You don't have to change anything. This is really about, can Google see your site or not? All right, so that's site SEO settings, SEO tools, SEO settings. All right, so now let's talk about uh, something called Google Search Console, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. Back over in marketing, go into marketing integrations, 
And when this comes up, you'll see those items, Google Analytics, Tag Manager, and um, now we don't have Search Console here, but we'll get into that. These are all uh, parts, free systems that Google provides to you to help you manage the site. Uh, we're not gonna, this video is not about how to set those up. Just know that you want GA4, you don't want Universal Analytics as of the time of writing this video. Uh, that is going to be deprecated, disappear entirely in the summer of 2023. So you don't want GA, you don't want Universal Analytics, you want GA4. You definitely want Tag Manager, it just makes things easier when your site grows and does become a little more complicated. And you want Google Search Console, which will uh, handle in a separate video. Just know that those three things you definitely want connected into the website. So that is your uh, general SEO uh, setup, uh, site settings. Now we're gonna go into specific page settings. We'll go into the editor and let this come up for just a moment. There's uh, one section we're gonna show you here in the editor, and then we're gonna hop back over to the dashboard. Most of the SEO that you're working on can be handled from inside the dashboard. All right, so we're gonna go over to our pages and menu into our home page. We'll start there and we'll go into SEO basics. That's where most of what you're going to need to adjust or pay attention to lives. Uh, what do you care about here? All right. Can it be, is it visible to the web, to, to Google? Can Google index this page? In other words, can it put it in their search results? Yes. We want that index. There are some pages you don't want indexed, uh, member profile pages, uh, internal pages, uh, Plenty of other reasons why you might not want it indexed, but this is the same setting that we looked at on the dashboard, just at a page level. So do you want Google to index your homepage? Yes, of course you do. All right, pages title tag. Really, really important what you put in here. Goes right back to that keyword research that you're doing and all of the fundamentals um, that we talked about. And a lot of SEOs will talk about how title tags don't matter anymore. They absolutely do. They are important. If you're in a super competitive space, yeah, okay, it's not going to move the needle that much. If you're a local or regional business, you have a store shop, a storefront, or you're selling services to businesses or consumers around you, these matter, huge matter, you know, huge, makes a huge difference in terms of local SEO. Pages meta description, got to have something here, new site, we don't have that yet. Uh, typically, this is um, something, some content that's from the homepage itself, but again, this goes back to keyword research and what you want to put in here, but you want to make sure you have your title tag, you have your meta description, and we'll go to a, a sub page because I want to show you this third element, URL slug. Again, a lot of SEOs are going to tell you URL slugs don't matter. They absolutely do. And they're so easy. Once you've done the homework, once you've done the hard work of keyword research and all those fundamentals, the URL slugs effectively build themselves. And they're really important. They can absolutely make a difference. Okay. So that is, um, those are the three key elements to every page in your site, URL slug, title tag, meta description, advanced SEO, you know, structured data markup, robots, meta tag, additional tags. Don't worry about that right now. In fact, they even, they added hire a Wix SEO partner here. You could hire us, you could hire anybody you want, but if you start getting beyond the fundamentals or just don't want to do the homework and the hard work of the, of the research, obviously reach out to a professional. Again, not what this video is about. So don't worry about this advanced SEO for right now. Social share. Okay. Maybe not add, add an image, but don't worry too much about this right now. It's not going to impact what you're, what you're doing, what your site is doing on Google. All right. So we've got our page SEO and you do that for every one of your pages, every page that's visible to Google and that matters. Okay. Terms of use, probably not a big deal. Uh, you want that on, uh, you want that handled. You want that, you want to have intent with those, those elements, those three elements. All right. So we can go over to, uh, store pages and product page, but you see, we don't really have any SEO options here. And I mentioned, we're going to go back over to the dashboard over here because you can actually go into your products, your actual store products. Oops, you click in. And then you can see SEO settings here. Now these will default to what we looked at earlier, what Google, what Wix is predefining as your URL slug, your title tag, and your meta description. It will fill this in for you. If you have, if your research has told you that you need something else in here 
and then go ahead and change it. And most of the time it will. Most of the time it's going to tell you different keywords to put in each of these three elements. And you see we keep coming back to these three, URL, slug, title, tag, meta description. If they weren't important, a big business like Wix wouldn't have them here for you. Okay. Let's search engines and index this, index this page, of course. You want that. So that's products. We're going to go a little bit quickly through these, but you can certainly go and, and look at those eight elements inside the marketing in fact, let's go pop back over here. SEO settings and under SEO tools. You can go into each one of these eight uh, areas of your website outside of main pages and edit those individually. We're gonna focus on just a few here. Products are important. Blog posts are really important. You go into the blog post itself and you can change SEO settings within each of those blog posts. So we don't have any blog posts yet. We're just gonna fake create one. It'll be over here in SEO. As you type, it'll start to fill in details here. Title tag, URL slug, metadata. Seeing a pattern here, these three key elements here. Again, advanced, don't have to worry too much about that. We're gonna back out of this and leave it. And then events, same thing, you could change those. Wix bookings, we don't have those on this website, but you're gonna wanna take a look at those as well. You can change it individually by events and bookings. So that is a crash course in your Wix SEO starter pack. Obviously, SEO goes well beyond that. And uh, if you do have questions, just drop them in the comments here. You can always reach out to us here at BizLadder as well. Number will show up here just after we stop.